Today you are going to start um, first session of unit two. And in this session is about key differences between Islamic and conventional banking. Conventional commercial banks are the most important among financial institutions. They mediate between those who save from their current income and those who need money for businesses or consumption. They make a profit from the spread between the interest rate they pay on their deposits and the interest rates they charge on their loans. Commercial banks are heavily regulated by the central bank of every country as their smooth functioning must be guaranteed to avoid any catastrophe in the financial system. Governments have also instituted insurance for bank deposits to provide confidence among bank depositors about the safety of their principles and the accrued interest on them. Without the involvement of interest, conventional banks cannot function. On the other hand, as you all you are already fully aware by now, Islamic scholars almost unanimously regard bank interest as riba, which is strongly prohibited by the Quran, the primary source of Islamic law or Sharia. Islamic banks therefore need to devise deposits and investment products that do not involve interest, but at the same time provide incentives for savings and investment to all concerned parties. In this section, you will learn the differences between the working of conventional commercial banks and Islamic banks. For this, it will be appropriate first to know the role, functions and operations of commercial banks in a modern economy.